this may be the first UK eco-village setting up with planning permission, but some people have been doing this for years. I've come here to Tinker's Bubble in Somerset to do some research. Tinker's Bubble is a, a low impact project which has uh, some things in common with what we are trying to do in Pembrokeshire. My name's Mary Darling and I live at Tinker's Bubble in South Somerset and that's here. Um, it's a 40 acre site. Two thirds of it are woodland and also on the land there's um, orchards, mostly Bramley orchards now, and um, pasture and gardens. There's um, a spring on the land and the spring flows down through the bit of broadleaf woodland that we have which is very beautiful and it comes out by the, by the road and there's a little waterfall there and that's where the name Tinker's Bubble comes from because it's where the gypsies used to bring their horses to water them and the gypsy word for a, a spring or waterfall is a bubble sometimes so that became Tinker's Bubble. We produce quite a few things here at the bubble. We, well there's the timber, there's the apples um, vegetables, peat in particular and now Dean as well, they grow vegetables and we sell those at farmers markets or to a local vegetable wholesaler and then they distribute them on. Um, Dave makes chairs, very fine chairs and sells those. There's the cows with the, the milk from Millie, mostly we get through it ourselves, either as you know, milk, yoghurt, cheese. Uh, sometimes we make butter but it's a bit of a palaver. We have milk now. Time for breakfast. I make medicinal herbal products and sell those, um, balms and salves and tinctures. I also am very into elderflowers and the elder, the whole elder tree. And I make elderflower cordial and elderflower champagne. When everybody first came here, the locals were extremely worried and I think their fears are very underst understandable you know when we were saying we want a low impact mm -hmm. farming settlement they couldn't understand they obviously they knew about farming they didn't know what low impact meant in fact I don't even know if the phrase had been coined then and the idea of a group of people running it together it was just unknown there were a few local people who you know, to all credit to them, they must have been fairly visionary, I suppose. They could imagine what this was going to be about and they said, give us a chance. Um, we held in there. The numbers, you know, went down to about, I don't know, the eight or so uh, people at that stage that sort of really intended to stay here and work the land. So, and then time just proved what we were about. Time and um, a huge amount of hard work. And now, I think... I think they're actually quite proud of us, in a way, actually. I think they, some of them think we're a bit nutty, that's OK. Um, they're probably right. You know, I think they quite, they quite like having us here, and we are now a real part of the local community.